<laughs> oh. Okay. So now, just get ready to hit. Let's back up just a little bit more. Okay, here, put a little slow stance now. A little narrow. Just like a bit narrow. Just to kind of get the feel of. Now when you when you bring that shoulder like that, John, mm -hmm. is it is it triggered by the arms and the hands? Well, I think I think if I get these arms to work the way I want them to, I think this will um, you know you might have to take your shoulder a little bit. I would mean, mm -hmm. I, I need I need certainly some of this. Right. And your wait. I mean a little bit of a more of a hinge again into here. Because it is it is just so Rapid and tied up here. There's still, I mean, don't, I'm pinching a little bit. Oh yeah, there's still, but it's still there's there's it needs much more flow in the backswing and hinge. You know, so you get the tempo is too much like you're almost trying to like lift the ball up into here. The club is not like dropping down in the ball like real naturally, you know. Okay, but what about the shoulder turn? Is that do I have to think about turning the shoulders? Well, let's let me do it this way. Watch my shoulders. Didn't move. Okay. Now watch my shoulder this time. It moved. Right. Okay, fine. I can move it or I can't move it. But one thing is you know is the ball went the same way, but I can do this. But this, I mean, I always think about the shoulder. Am I making the turn at the Well, portal? I think that you're lax in the shoulder turn. I think you could think of some shoulder, but I would certainly like you to get some of the ability to hit, give me, like we talked before, a little bit of a, a hinge and hit first. Hinge and hit the ball. And then we'll just give you all the shoulder turn you want. But is that natural or not normal? I mean, your shoulder, I mean, a shoulder.